bitter ending for Sussexes. Royal fans deal fatal blow on Haz and Meg for their hypocritical habits. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have received fresh backlash for their alleged hypocritical behavior. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have a tendency of wanting his cake and eating it too ever since he and Meghan Markle stepped back from their senior royal roles in 2020, according to a royal expert. Prince Harry has a penchant for wanting his cake and eating it too, royal expert Hilary Forwich explained to Fox News. The expert continued, he would like royal protection, access and attendance at royal family events so that he can tattle tale. Yet, at the same time, wants his privacy all whilst hiring three PR firms. He wanted to wear his military uniform at his beloved, grandmother's, funeral but doesn't want to work as a royal. The Duke was granted permission to wear his blues and royals uniform as the grandchildren of Queen Elizabeth II held a vigil on the Saturday before the funeral. Another royal expert Shannon Felton Spence said that Harry and Meghan's behavior is akin to quitting your job and expecting the company to still pay for your benefits. Everything they want is part of the benefit package at the job, Spence said. They quit the job. The expert noted that the Duke's decision to step away from the royal family and set out on a mission to be financially independent isn't necessarily a bad thing, especially since he's fifth in line for the throne. But that's not what they wanted. They wanted all the freedom and the perks. And that's not the job. So it's now more of a mess than ever. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are making a dramatic U-turn on their upcoming projects in the wake of Queen Elizabeth's death, multiple sources told Page Six. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been working on a docuseries as part of their multi-million dollar Netflix deal for more than a year. Netflix chiefs, who have not even officially announced the Sussex project yet, had hoped to air the docuseries in December after the fifth season of The Crown on November 9. Now, we're told the couple want to make more edits to the hotly anticipated show, which would potentially push back its release till later in 2023. Harry's memoir, originally scheduled for release from Penguin Random House in November, has already been pushed back until sometime next year. Many royal experts have said that Harry's father, King Charles, will hold off giving the title of Prince and Princess to the Sussex children, Archie, three, and Lilibet, one, until the couple's various media projects are out. While the Sussexes were part of the usual editing process on both the show and the book well before the monarch's death, sources said the couple is keen to take out or downplay much of what they have said about King Charles, Queen Consort Camilla, Prince William and his wife Kate, the new Princess of Wales. One Hollywood industry source told us, a lot of conversations are happening. I hear that Harry and Meghan want the series to be held until next year, they want to stall. I wonder if the show could even be dead in the water at this point, do Harry and Meghan just want to shelve this thing? One highly placed Netflix insider revealed, Netflix has been keen to have the show ready to stream for December. There's a lot of pressure on, Netflix CEO, Ted Sarandos who has the relationship with Harry and Meghan, to get this show finished. The Sussexes are treading a fine line with the royal family. Although they were front and center at the funeral for the Queen, who died aged 96, on September 8, relations with the family are still fraught. As non-working royals, they have slipped down on the royal website, although Harry is still number five in the line of succession followed by his children. And we previously reported that Harry only discovered his grandmother had died from reading online reports after he landed in Scotland from the US.